Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Now it's been a while since I posted a video about how to grow on Twitch, how to do certain things, the do's and don'ts, and basically tips on how you should do things on Twitch. Now in this video, it's not going to be like, oh, these tips will definitely make you grow. These are just honestly the essentials that you'll need to actually start making growth on Twitch or any platform in this case, really. Now to start on Twitch, there's about five essential things to my personal opinion that you'll need. Now, I'm not saying that from these things, the five topics that we will be discussing, that you need literally the most optimal things. Like, you don't have to spend X amount of money just to gain that quality. That's not what I'm literally advising you. So, as for part one, I would say audio and video. Like, that's even my go-to when you would be starting on YouTube or Twitch or Instagram or anything, really. You need to make sure that your audio and video is on gain. Like... Whenever you're speaking into a microphone, whether that's an SM7B or a Blue Yeti or even like a headset microphone, you just want to make sure that your audio sounds good. If your audio is trash, and for example, in this clip, you just want to make sure that your audio is on point. Now, obviously, I'm using a Go XLR into a Cloud Lifter and an SM7B, which is quite a pricey change or a cost if you want to obviously up your gain for your audio. This is not required, this is not necessary to start streaming or to begin a stream or your YouTube. This is something I eventually invested in because I have been making videos on YouTube and doing Twitch streams and all that kind of stuff for a very long time now. And eventually when you are, you know, when you are away from the whole growing phase and eventually you get to the transition where you've been spending so much time in your Twitch stream or in your videos or whatsoever, then it's time to eventually upgrade. And your first thing that you really want to make sure from already in the beginning, if it's not possible, then try to make that make it to that point. But you want to make sure that your audio is on point. Like literally, that's the best advice I can give you. First, it would be audio and then video. Like video is important, but people prefer to actually watch a lower quality video with good audio than watching a video with less audio or quality on audio than a good video quality. Now, there's definitely some things you can tweak here. There's programs you can use. For example, in OBS, there's a plugin called Reaper Plugins. That's a plugin where you can actually up the gain and up the quality from your audio, depending what kind of microphone you're using. Now, it's definitely good to keep in mind that when you're talking about audio and video, you obviously want to make sure that both of these two are correct and optimized. Now, as for audio, I would either recommend starting with a Blue Yeti microphone. If you have the money, maybe go out for SM7B. I highly do not recommend this for the starting phase. But if you have the money, it's definitely a good investment to already start with. There's a new microphone, by the way. It's on the market for quite some time now, but I still conclude it new as, for example, to the Blue Yeti, which is quite old in this case. The Elgato 3 or Wave 3 in this case is definitely one of the best go to microphones, in my opinion. The nice thing about the Elgato Wave 3 is that they deliver not only the microphone, not only the stand and the pop filter, but it also includes a software program that they created. This program allows you to tweak your settings from your audio, which definitely will help you. And apart from even tweaking your audio, there's different channels. So you can basically lower the volume with one button for your microphone and one for your chat and one for your Spotify. And, and you can literally go on for days. Now, as part number two, which I think is pretty important, is an overlay. It's not the most important thing. Like, I would say part one would be audio, video, and then the overlay. Because an overlay basically personalizes your channel. Which means that if you are somebody who does, for example, gaming videos, or if you're somebody who does ASMR or podcasts or reacting to or all that kind of stuff, you know. You just want to make sure that your overlay represents you. It's kind of like your, your, your selling card. It's where people gain the information without you, without you having to inform them about what you do. And you can literally make it as crazy as you want. Make it either minimal or make it as crazy as you want and include your socials in there. Now, as part number three, that would be the schedule. Now, this is, to my opinion, an optional thing. Some people do intend to like it more that if you have a schedule. So let's say you stream on Twitch from Monday, Wednesday and Friday then people are definitely going to be more up to date because they know when you go live and they know when you are not live. Now, again, as for my opinion, this is optional. Sometimes I prefer having that feeling of just wanting to stream whenever I feel like instead of needing to 
keep your mindset and saying like oh i need to stream on monday i need to stream on wednesday and on on friday quick little tip i can give you this is one of the most definite tips i can give you that will help you grow people like a schedule people like to know when you're live and when you're not live so for my opinion use a schedule if you do not want to use a schedule completely fine now as number four i would say describe your channel or describe your twitch stream like what is it about and how videos will look like or what your content is surrounded on but this i basically mean that you explain to the people what your video is like what your videos are about what you are about who you are in person people want to try to get an understanding what your videos are based around but also try to understand what kind of person you are so it's definitely good to update your description or your biography saying like i'm this person this is what i do in my real life i like these type of games and you know you can go on for days you can make it very short you can make it very long depending on what you prefer tip number five and i think this is one of the most important ones as well is diversifying your content by this i mean that it definitely is something you need to do if you are so passionate on twitch and you want to make a key growth basically meaning that you want to make a really big growth on twitch uh, and even on any other platform in this case you want to diversify your content by that i mean you make videos for example on twitch when you stream on twitch people will probably not find you in the start and if you're maybe lucky to get a shout out or if somebody basically recognizes you and then they go from one uh, one other to another like a networking phase that is something that can help i do want to say that diversifying your content basically means that you make content on several platforms so let's say you do twitch you do streams why not edit these twitch streams and then put them on youtube or make separate youtube videos so people can find you on several platforms this basically helps people to find you on the internet which in other terms is seo it's basically meaning it's a search engine for google people type in your name and they'll find your twitch stream but the best thing that they want to have is they go to google they type your name and they find literally everything about you anyway guys if you find these five tips very helpful then i honestly do want to thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next video if you like this hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell click the like and leave a comment it would be really much appreciated anyway guys catch you in the next video